we now have the general tools to really tackle any multiplication problem. So in this video, I'm just going to do a ton of examples. So let's start off with, and I'll start in yellow. Let's start off with 32 times 18. 32 times 18. Say 8 times 2 is 16. I'll still let me just. Well, I'll do it in our head this time because you always don't have all of the space to work with. So 8 times 2, 8 times 2 is 16. Put the one up there. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 1 is 25. 25. So 8 times 32 was 256. Now we're going to have to multiply this 1, which is really a 10, times 32. I'll underline it with the orange. 1 times 2, and oh, we have to be very careful here. 1 times 2 is 2. So you might say, hey, let me stick a 2 down there. But remember, this isn't a 1. This is a 10. So we have to stick a 0 there to remember that. So one, 10 times 2 is 20, right? Or you can say 1 times 2 is 2, but you're putting it in the 2's place, so you still get 20. So 10 times 2 is 20. Works out. Then 1 times 3, and we have to be very careful. Let's get rid of what we had from before. 1 times 3 is 3. There's nothing to add here, so you just get a 3. And so you get 10 times 32 is 320. Right? This 1 right here, that's a 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. So now we just add up the two numbers. You add them up. 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5. Let's keep going. Let's do 99 times 88. It's going to give us a big number. 8 times 9 is 72. 72, stick the 7 up there. 8 times 9. And then you have 8 times 9 again. 8 times 9 is 72, but now you have the 7 up here. So 72 plus 7 is 79. 79. Fair enough. Now we are done with this. Let's just delete it just so that we don't get confused in our next step. In our next step, we're going to multiply this 8 now times 99. But this 8 is an 80. So let's stick a 0 down there. 8 times 9 is 72. Stick a 7 up there. Then 8 times 9 is 72, plus 7 is 79. 79. 2 plus 0 is 2. Let me switch colors. 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. Carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8,712. Let's keep going. Can't do enough of these. All right, 53 times 78. I think you're getting the hang of it now. Let's multiply 8 times 53 first. So 8 times 3 is 24. Stick the 2 up there. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 plus 2 is 42. 42. Now we're going to have to deal with that 7. That 7 right there which is really a 70. So let's, we've got to remember to put the 0 there. 7 times 3, and let's get rid of this. Don't want to get confused. 7 times 3 is 21. Put the 1 there and put the 2 up here. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is 37. 37. Now we're ready to add. Ready to add. 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 1 is 3. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4,134. Let's up the stakes a little bit. Let's up the stakes. So let's say I had 796 times times 50, oh, 58. Times 58. Let's mix it up well. All right, let's, so first we're going to just multiply 8 times 796. And notice I've thrown an extra digit up here. So 8 times 6 is 48. Put the 4 up there. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 4 is 76. 76. And then 8 times 7 is 56. 56 plus 7 is 63. 
63. I'm sure I'll make a careless mistake at some point in this video, and the goal for you is to identify if and when I do. All right, now we're ready so we can get rid of these guys up here. Now we can multiply this 5, which is in the tens place. It's really a 50 times this up here. Because it's a 50, we stick a 0 down there. 5 times 6 is 30. Put the 0 there, put the 3 up there. 5 times 9 is 45, plus the 3 is 48. 48. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 4 is 39. 39. Now we're ready to add. We're ready to add. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 0 is 6. 3 plus 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 16. And then 1 plus 3 is 4. So 796 times 58 is 46,168. And that sounds about right, because 796, it's almost 800, it's all, you know, which is almost 1,000. So it's, you know, if we multiplied 1,000 times 58, we'd get 58,000. But we're multiplying something a little bit smaller than 1,000 times 58, so we're getting something a little bit smaller than 58,000. So the number is in the, in the correct ballpark. Now let's just do one more here, where I'm really going to step up the stakes. Let's do 523 times, I'm going to do a three digit number now, times 798. And that's a big three digit number. But it's the same exact process. And you should, once you kind of see the pattern, you say, hey, this will apply to any time number of digits times any number of digits. It'll just ta start taking you a long time, and your chances of making a careless mistake are going to go up. But it's the same idea. So we start with 8 times 523. 8 times 3 is 24. Stick the 2 up there. Let me. Now 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. Put the 1 up there. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 1 is 41. So 8 times 523 is 4,184. We're not done. We have to multiply it times the 90 and divide by the 700. So let's do the 90 right there. So it's a 90, so we'll just stick a 0 there. It's not a 9. So 9 times, and let's get rid of these guys right there. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. And then we have 9 times 5 is 45. 45 plus 2 is 47. 40, I didn't want to write that thick. 47. Let me make sure I did that one right, and let's just review it a little bit. 9 times 3 was 27. We wrote the 7 down here and put the 2 up there. 9 times 2 is 18. We added 2 to that, so we wrote 20. We wrote the 0 down there and the 2 up there. Then 9 times 5 was 45, plus 2 is 47. You really have to make sure you don't make careless mistakes with these. Then finally, we have to multiply the 7, which is really a 700, times 523. And for a 90, when it was just an 8, we just started multiplying here. When it was a 90, when we were doing with the tens place, we put a 0 there. Now that we're dealing with something that's in the hundreds, we're going to put two zeros there. Two zeros right there. And so you have 7, and let's get rid of this stuff. That'll just mess us up. 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. Put the 1 there. Stick the 2 up there. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus our 2 is 16. 16, put the 1 up there. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 1 is 36. 36. And now we're ready to add. And hopefully we didn't make any careless mistakes. So 4 plus 0 plus 0, that's easy, that's 4. 8 plus 7 plus 0, that's 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 4 plus 7 plus 6, that's what? 4 plus 6 is 10, 17. 17. And then we have 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 6 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. So 523 
times 798 is 417,354. And we can even check to make sure. And so this is the moment of truth. Let's see if, if we, let's see, 523 times 798. There you go. Moment of truth. I don't have to re record this video. It's 417,354, but we did it without the calculator, which is the important point.